things and, and uh, the run and the pass and uh, excellent play action. His quarterbacks are well coached. And, and, uh, the offense is, is, uh, is executes like it's supposed to. Do you think he does a good job? You know, what does he do? Does he do a good job of exploiting matchups and finding guys, finding places where he might be weak? I think he's the hill. Yeah. He does that too. That's a good job. You've seen, you've seen his offenses before, Petrino coached offense before, obviously, in the SEC. Does that give you a little bit of an advantage or at least make you feel a little more comfortable that you've seen kind of what he does? Uh, I would say uh, yes to somewhat. You know, again, he's he's, uh, he's done a great job of changing through the years. I mean, uh, you know, again, he's, he's always done a great job of executing it. He's always had a great quarterback. Uh, he's obviously uh, mixes up the run and the pass really well. How much have you guys watched some of that old Arkansas stuff? And, and, and how many times have you watched Saturday's game against Kentucky and try to compare the two? Uh, we've watched both quite a bit. And, uh, obviously, there's, uh, there's some similarities, and, uh, but at the same time, too, there's some, there's some difference. A lot of your defensive backs have talked about I this week, maybe a little bit more than ever. That for a young defensive group of defensive backs, they maybe haven't seen a lot of offense like this. How important it is that they just understand their keys and then know where they're going if they're eyes. Well, again, we do that every day, every day. It doesn't matter who we play. We talk about our eye, eye discipline and uh, not having eye violations every single day. So it doesn't, it's regardless of who we play, whether you're facing an option football team or a passing offense. Uh, you know, it's something that we're, we're constantly working on. And, uh, we try and improve every day. You guys pretty swarm with the ball. How important is it that you're back? Swarms the ball this week because Andrew seems to take two or three guys to bring him down. He hardly ever gets taken down when you got. Well, that's that's basically kind of our our philosophy is to get to the football and, and uh, try and get 11 guys to the ball. And that's not going to change whether we're playing Western Kentucky or anybody. Bobby Petrino really likes to confuse the secondary. He likes to run a lot of crossing routes and things like that. Have you noticed those tendencies on film? Um, yeah, we've seen them quite a bit before. Also, when we gone against him and uh, he does a good job and, and uh, no different than you know again he does a great job of, ma of of mixing up his plays to try and exploit the weakness of the defense like any other offensive coordinator he does a great job is Regardless. there anything you can do sorry to calm the secondary down because it seems like they're they're going to get attacked this weekend it seems like that's who they're, they're going to be they're going to get attacked every day <laughs> so it doesn't really matter who we're playing uh, no, we just really focus on what we can control and, and preparing. And, uh, there's, there's really no, there's no magic to it. You know, you keep working, and uh, we've, we've uh, been working since camp in spring and fall camp. You work at the things that that offenses do, uh, different formations, different plays, and, and uh, so, you know, the things that they do on offense, we've practiced them. We've done that since spring ball. So uh, that's what's so great about our offense. It's so multiple. Full offense. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we run very similar plays. You know, uh, so that, that's that's going to help us. In regards to eye discipline and the see a little, see a lot mentality, you think your group took steps forward this week, and what you see on the practice field? Uh, it's getting better. It's getting better. It's a work in progress. Uh, again, it's something that we always uh, talk about, coach every day. And, uh, it's improved a little bit. I say when you don't hear a cornerback's name a lot, that's usually a good sign. We didn't hear Cam's name a whole lot Saturday. Was that a sign that he played pretty well, or there's still you know, a lot of fun? He's, he's still got a lot of room for improvement, and uh, uh, some of that too was he wasn't challenged, and, uh, which he will be uh, this week and, and the weeks to come. Yeah.